G'day guys, Glenn VK4NGA. I just want to show you uh, my Jumbo Spot portable setup. So this is the uh, Jumbo Spot that I bought off eBay, which I use for portable. I just use the battery power bank here and my Redivus RT3S on the VKDMR network. So currently I've got in the hotspot the first Wi-Fi source. So position one is my uh, Android phone and position 2 is my home Wi-Fi. So first of all I'll just boot it up so keep, keeping in mind position 2 is my home Wi-Fi so let's start it up and watch it boot up see how quick it gets onto the network so it's a good idea to have the um, VKDMR dashboard In your um, in your phone, so there it is. There, so it's a good idea to have that on your phone. So um, that's just hot. dot vkdmr. dot com. That's the hotspot dashboard or the repeater dashboard, which is what you're looking at now. Is rpt. dot vkdmr. dot com. There you go. It's booted up. Okay, so. We'll just uh, key up on the radio and we'll see if we're on the network. It should come up in orange. Yep, there it is there. Okay, so that's um, hooked up to my home Wi-Fi. Uh, now I'll disconnect the hotspot again. And uh, I'll turn my home Wi-Fi uh, I'll turn my, um, I'll show you here, I'll turn my uh, tethering, my hotspot tether. Um, this is an Android phone. Uh, you can do it on uh, Android on and uh, iPhones. There's a bit of an issue at the moment with some iPhone connections. But uh, I think that's going to be resolved. So my uh, Android phone is up and running is the uh, Wi-Fi source so the tethering mode is on so I'll just plug that in and watch that boot up I'm going to show you a cheater's way to um, get into the dashboard of this on my phone so there's a, a good cheater's way to do this uh, rather than doing IP scans and that kind of stuff which is tricky and fiddly and who needs that so we'll just uh, first of all get into the uh, get the dashboard running here. I'll just watch the hotspot boot up. Should find my uh, phone pretty quickly. There it is. It's starting up now. Okay, so it's found the phone. I'm assuming so. So uh, let's um, just key up and we'll see if we get orange. No, hotspot's still booting up. Too soon. Okay, that was too quick. Still booting up there. Should go back to listening in a second. As soon as it's scrolling, it's booted up. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll key up on the radio. There's my call sign, you can't see it, but I can. Call sign comes up on the dashboard. So the best way to do it is to key up, and then here you'll have your new IP address for your phone. So it's 192.168.43.61. So if we get my phone, come into the browser. I've actually got it saved. But all you've got to do is uh, open the browser and type in that IP address. And there you go, I'm into the, uh, because I've already typed it in, it saved it. So you just got to type that into the browser. So the trick is to key up on your radio 
and have a look at the IP address it comes up it'll be different to your uh, home Wi-Fi or any other Wi-Fi source type that into your um, phone browser and you can see there I'll uh, make it a bit bigger you can see there that the, um, the whole thing's working so just to recap it's tethered to the phone right now um, so the first Wi-Fi source for this is the phone, the second is the uh, home Wi-Fi network um, I've got the home Wi-Fi network in there so if I want to make any configuration changes in the shack here it's really easy I don't have to tether it to my phone and play with my phone because while it's on the phone network you can only access it on the same network so I've got to use my phone or something else tethered like a, a tablet or an iPad tethered to the phone um, for, for Wi-Fi so the best way to do it is to uh, have your phone in there first and then have your um, have your home Wi-Fi in there second and that way if it doesn't find your phone it'll search for the second source which will be your home Wi-Fi now if I just um, if I turn the tethering off I get out of there if I turn it off, ok it's off let's see what happens to the hotspot tried this the other night, I was pretty impressed with Pistar so I'll just get the dashboard up again on the phone so that's rpt.vkdmr.com you see there I've got an IP address in there ok the hotspots actually found the home Wi-Fi network now and it's um, it's just going through the boot motion so I didn't power the hotspot down so let's just see if the uh, let's just try it in a second, I'll try it now, I don't know if it's going to connect there you go so I found the Wi-Fi network without rebooting the hotspot so it's now on my home Wi-Fi network so uh, the way to set up your portable hotspot is definitely um, put your phone in first and then uh, put your um, home one in uh, home Wi-Fi in second. The initial configuration I had it the other way around so I could get into the hotspot. So I put my home Wi-Fi in first, and then what I did is I went into the Pi Star config, and I put my phone in second. And then I tethered it to my phone, and then what I did after that is I deleted my home Wi-Fi network, so it bumped my phone up to position one and then I tethered my phone again to it uh, then I put my um, phone details in position 2 in the configuration and then, uh, and then once I'd done that I saved it and uh, that way it swapped the positions around so the phone was position 1 and the uh, home Wi-Fi was position 2 hopefully that's not too, too confusing for you, it is a bit confusing but uh, but I definitely recommend um, using a, um, a power bank um, you know, a decent quality one, but even the cheapies, this was I'm going to say decent quality, this was 10 bucks at Aldi so it's a uh, 4000 milliamp hour and um, goes for ages so um, that's how you do it um, on your phone you want to have the, uh, the VKDMR dashboard there and uh, have that sitting on your phone so you can um, so you can look at any traffic coming in and make sure you're getting into the network there's somebody keying up yeah. so that's what I recommend uh, that's the uh, easiest way to um, set it up and it works really well um, I had this in my pocket the other evening uh, I was away from the home but in, in my estate, in my uh, local area so I had it tethered to my phone, my phone was in one pocket this setup was in the other pocket and I had my handheld and uh, 
at a uh, at a QSO um, while I was pedestrian mobile. All right, so hopefully that's helped you guys out. Um, it's kind of um, kind of a little bit confusing, but um, but at the same time, uh, if you um, if you just follow those simple steps and uh, put your home Wi-Fi network in first, and you um, set it all up in uh, the Pi Star dashboard and then come in later on and swap them around, swap the positions around. Uh, I'm not showing you that on the dashboard uh, tonight but um, you can um, you can figure that out. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you can actually add and remove networks in Pi Star in the configuration page. So hopefully that helps you out with uh, a mobile or portable setup. Uh, this is VK4NGA. Thanks for watching. 73s.